if you are thinking that, oh my God, I don't have anything, I must have to pay something in order to get any kind of result. I don't have anything under my control because of which I'm not able to earn money. So I will tell you there are 10 things which can help you get tremendous amount of results in your art profession, whether it is painting better or whether it is earning money. So it will involve all of that. Point number one, write a book and publish it. Nowadays, you can just write it, make it a PDF book, and you don't need a barcode in order to start selling it. Make sure that whatever you are writing, that book is good. It is quite packed of knowledge and there is a huge market. This book, Realistic Watercolor Unleashed, when I started writing that book, I had only experience of painting four or six watercolor paintings. I did not have a, quite a lot of knowledge that time. While writing this book, I did huge amount of studies, experiments, because of which I acquired the knowledge and I could write this book. This book does have this barcode thing and it is self-published. It is published by me. It is also there on Amazon. So you don't need money to put it on Amazon. You don't need money to have it on Ingram Spark. You just need to have the book and you can have the ISBN barcode online. You don't need to pay money for that, but you need to write the book and selling the book is giving me consistent amount of income, whether it is small or big doesn't matter, but a book is a business because people know that I'm an author, they trust me more because people know that I have written a book, they feel that I have got knowledge. Second, this is going to help you to thrive in the market and that is connections. Businesses work on connections. The more connections you have, the faster you will grow and the more businesses you will make. And building connections requires genuine interest in people, requires genuine good understanding of how human beings work. It requires you to step up if you feel that I cannot build relationship, I cannot build connection, then you will never be able to build connection. I was just shy, timid, and introverted kind of person throughout my childhood to adulthood. I also had huge amount of phobia of talking to people, interacting with them. You have to overcome your problems and you have to build connections. The more connections you will have, the more faster you will grow and the more money you will earn. Okay, so that is connections. The third is, which is absolutely free of cost, is self-appreciate. Appreciate yourself tremendously. Okay, so let's say you are creating a painting and your mind is saying, no, this painting may not look good. People may not appreciate. So these are all called as negative mind chatter. It is going to discourage you, demotivate you, and you will not feel good about it. So I always encourage myself. I ask my students to encourage themselves. You know, when people crave for other people's appreciation, when they don't appreciate themselves enough, you should be the biggest cheerleader for yourself. Whatever you appreciate, appreciates. If you appreciate money, your bank balance will grow up. If you appreciate your knowledge, your knowledge will grow up. If you appreciate yourself for doing the hard work, that hard work will go up, okay? And it will give more results. If you appreciate your painting, your paintings will grow up, okay? Whatever you genuinely appreciate, that appreciates. Also appreciate other people. The fourth point, which is absolutely free of cost, okay, is habits. Build good habits. Habits are like you're putting yourself in autopilot mode. My mother don't have to push me or motivate me to brush my teeth, right? But once you get into that good habit, in that case, it becomes automatic. You don't have to push yourself, motivate yourself to do the work. Failing is a habit and succeeding is also a habit. A person who is not taking an action is not taking an action because they are habituated to it. And person who is taking an action is taking an action because they are also habituated to taking an action. So all you have to do is to overcome your bad habits and had, have new habits. And do you know that in Amazon, there are a lot of good books 
which are either very cheap or they are free of cost. Audio version is free of cost, which can help you build good habits. Okay, maybe it will take you some time to build good habits, but once those habits are there, then your life will be on autopilot. Okay, so that is number four, building good habits. Number five is attitude. Attitude plays huge amount of role in our result. Attitude towards self-development, attitude towards work, attitude towards learning, attitude towards developing your art business, attitude towards painting, better quality paintings. Everything comes with attitude. Okay, so let's say your attitude towards learning is negative. So let's say you'll feel, oh my God, again, I have to learn. Just now I learned something. Again, I have to learn. It is so boring. It takes so much of my time. Oh God, this is too much. Oh, I have to do internet. I have to look on camera. I, I, I just am not feeling it. Oh, can I watch it from YouTube video? Can I learn from free of cost? And all these things are negative attitude towards learning. The expectation that learning will be fun, learning will be exciting, learning will be nice, happy, happy things, that is also falling under the negative attitude. Learning did not be fun. No, learning can be fun. I'm not saying learning must be fun. Learning can be fun. Learning can be exciting. But at the same time, sometimes learning is tedious. Sometimes learning can be boring. Sometimes learning can be uh, difficult. Sometimes learning can be challenging. Sometimes learning can be exhausting. So if you love learning, then you will feel all those emotions are a part of learning. You will feel good even if you are exhausted. Have you seen children? They play and play and play and play and they get exhausted, but they are happy. They are never complaining that they are playing and because they are playing, they are exhausted. They never feel like that. Okay, exactly like that. Work can be exhausting, but it need not be making you sad. No difficult work can make you feel sad if your attitude is good. Attitude towards life, attitude towards your family, everything. Just developing a good attitude itself can give you huge amount of results. Huge, like tremendous. Develop a good attitude. The next point is just try to overcome your mindset blocks and limiting beliefs, okay? Just have empowering belief. Like most people, they don't get result because of one problem. They have wonderful wishes, they have desires, they have goals, but the problem is they don't expect that they will come true. Let's say an artist is expecting, wow, I've created a wonderful painting, my painting must get sold. But when they are talking to the prospect, their mind is saying, what if this person doesn't buy? So the expectation is negative. The expectation is not what you want in life. And all this thing is causing people not to put the right kind of efforts. If you are expecting that you are not going to do a good job as a professional artist, maybe you will not put the right amount of efforts. Maybe you will not take the works more seriously. Maybe you will not have good habit of keeping on acquiring knowledge. If your expectation is poor, if your expectation is not that great, you will not be able to get the results what you're planning to get. In that case, you will not show up nicely, you will not put up the right efforts, you will not feel encouraged, you will feel skeptical, you will feel that it is a lot of risk, all those things, right? So align your expectation, your mindset, your beliefs with your goals, your desires, your ambitions. So get out of your limiting beliefs, mindset blocks. There is a mindset block that, oh, there are so many artists who are there. How can I also become a good artist? Who will pay me? So that is coming from a scarcity mindset. So people who think that opportunities are not enough, people are not planning to buy and all those things, they are only dealing with a negative mindset, a scarcity mindset. Just by helping yourself to see the positive side of it, just by helping yourself to see that, wow, there are so many buildings which are getting created every single year and every building will need at least a few paintings. Why not my painting? How can I sell it to them? How can I get more customers? Okay, so uh, having a positive attitude will help you tremendously. Having an empowering belief system will help you tremendously. 
Okay, so that is number seven. Number eight is communication skills. Communication skills is not like you have to pay somebody to learn how to communicate. Okay, you just have to come live on social media and talk like how I'm talking. Okay, initially maybe you will not do a great job, but slowly, slowly, slowly you will do a great job. If you focus into learning how to communicate well, you will definitely do a great job. Maybe you can just go live on YouTube and talk. Maybe you can just go live on Zoom. You know, Zoom is free, of course, for 45 minutes. Okay, for 45 minutes, you can have a meeting with a client for 45 minutes and it is free, of course, on Zoom. Okay, YouTube is completely free of cost. Instagram is free of cost. You can go live on Instagram. You can go live on Facebook. If you are very scared, in that case, you can create a private Facebook group and there you practice communication. You know, you cannot earn huge amount of money. You cannot grow nicely in your art profession if your communication skill is not that great. And by just thinking that, oh no, my communication is not that great, that will not help you. If you think that your communication skill is not that great, you can learn and improve. You can still go in 2019 and see that I started my first Facebook Live. I was shivering. Okay, you can scroll down and check it out. I have not removed it. Several times I came without makeup. Several times my hair was not that good. Several times the video was not having a good lighting. Several times I was looking here and there. Communication skill is something which you need some time to develop. And the faster you develop, the better results you will get. The ninth one, which can help you earn a huge amount of money is start building trust in the market. The business works on two things. Number one, trust. One is relationship. No like trust factor and relationship. The more connections you have, the more bigger will be your business. The more profit you will make, the more money you will make. Okay. So trust, building the trust, building the connection, this is super, super, super important. Building the trust means, let's say you put up something, let's say you use some word, you put up something, just keep that word. You communicate without any intention of getting the result immediately. So whenever a person asks me a question, I answer them and I don't expect that immediately they will become my client. But it has happened several times that because I communicated nicely over a period of one year, two year, they saw the value in me and they became my client. Sometimes it happens passively. Let's say I'm showcasing, like, let's say I'm sharing this on my video and let's say you are finding it helpful. Maybe down the line, quite later, maybe you will think that, wow, Nita, if she's sharing so much free of course, maybe I should go and learn from her. How good that will be. It may happen, it may not happen, okay? But when you build trust online, when you build trust on social media, when, you, when people start knowing you, liking you, trusting you, it works for in your favor, okay? And you can do that free of cost on social media. You can build trust on social media free of cost. It all comes with that willingness to put down the work. Tenth and the final thing is believe in yourself. Everything starts with faith. Faith is when you have the belief which works in favor of you. And doubt is also belief. Doubt is when your belief is working against your wishes. That is doubt. So for example, if you have created a good painting, faith will be, this painting will be sold in a very high price. I'm very sure about it. Okay, so that is faith. Have you gone in the future and have you seen whether it has been sold at good price or not? No. But you believe it and your belief is in favor of you. That is called as faith. Doubt is not absence of belief. Doubt is the opposite of faith. Doubt is a belief which is against your benefits. Okay. These are all free of cost, whatever I said so far. And like that, there are many things in this world which are free of cost. You all you have to do is to utilize these opportunities and take incredible action to get the result. Just by contemplating that, okay, one day will come and I will take the result, that will not work. Do it now. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. See you.